Hello, my name is Arjen of the Greenhouse Seed Company. And I'm Franco. And I'm very excited to show you this beautiful plant, the Super Lemon Haze. It's a cross of Super Silver Haze and the Lemon Skunk that we got as a present from far away, from a very, very good friend. We crossed it and we came up with the Super Lemon Haze. And until now, it's the biggest winner ever in the High Times Cannabis Cup history. And we think it's going to be the number one plant for the next 10 years on this planet. We are very proud to have this plant. Um, it's a long, meaty sativa that grows with beautiful internodes all the way to the top. Eh? It's incredible. I, I have goosebumps when I yeah. think at that last cannabis cup. Yeah. 2008 and 2009 cup winner. Second prize in the seed company sativa category in 2009. There's, there's no words to describe this plant. This is the best of the Super Silver Rays with the best of the Lemon Skunk Square. It's amazing. Um, the flowering time, it's around 11 weeks. You could go 12 weeks if you wanted it really, really ripe. Um, the turpin composition is so complex that the Lemon N, the Pin N, uh, really, really pike on this one. So if you allow the 12th week to happen, you're going to end up with something that is very, very lemony. Um, especially when you grow it indoor, where you can really control your resin formation properly, you can achieve very white plants. So extremely beautiful sativa, a really decorated plant, and she really deserves it. The effect is very high, but at the same time very stoned. It's one of these double hitters, as we call them. Very similar to the effect of the Super Silver Eyes, honestly, very strong. Also here the um, ratio NPK 211, room temperature 26 to 27, and in the night 20. Water temperature 20 to 22, humidity 60 to 70 percent. EC 1.5, pH 5.5. Also here we are in our hydro versus soil test. So we can compare a little bit. We have a 26 centimeter tall hydro plant against the 18 centimeter tall soil plant. Also in the leaf development, it's clear the difference in size. Um, the internode as well, stretchier on this side a little bit. The branching is actually compared to the size of the plant, not too different on the soil as well. But you can say that from this test, the performance on hydro, the metabolism is just faster and better. It's clear at this early stage of the plant already. These plants have been uh, uh, cut, the clones, 28 days ago, rooted for 14 days, 14 days in these two liter pots on 18 hours, and now they are ready to go in flowering into big 65 liter containers. And we will continue the test, the parallel flowering of the hydro and, and the earth. And in seven days, after switching on 12.12, we'll be back and check them out. Hello, we are here with the Super Lemon Haze, one of the most famous plants in the world at the moment, in week one, day seven. Now, we're gonna change the nutrients into a flower nutrient, so the NPK ratio will go to one to one. At the same time, we're gonna higher the EC to 1.8, and the humidity in the room, we're gonna lower it to 60 to 65%. The room temperature will stay until 26, 27 degrees. And Franco is going to say a little bit more about the compensation between the hydroponics and the soil grown in organic, because here you really, really see a big difference. Absolutely. The hydroponic super lemon haze went from 26 to 86 centimeter, four centimeters a day in the last 10 days, the average growth. While the plant grown organically with just water in soil, went from 18 to 48, three centimeters a day. So we have a full centimeter a day difference in growth. The leaf on the hydroponic side is 23 centimeter long now, while on the soil side is only 13 centimeters long. And the branching, there's not much I have to say about that. It's uh, impressive on this side and uh, it has to catch up here, but I'm pretty confident we will see impressive bud here too. Just make sure you're back in week two for the most decorated plant, the super lemon haze. Hello, we are here in day 14 of the flower period with the Super Lemon Haze. NPK micro ratio 1 to 2, humidity in the room 55 to 60%. The EC 1.8, the pH 5.5. The room temperature, we keep at 26 degrees Celsius in a day and 21 degrees Celsius in the night. We have used here a 600 watt HPS, high pressure sodium lamp. And after 14 days, this award winning plant is starting to produce beautiful flowers all over. Eh? Definitely. Pretty soon uh, she'll be famous again and uh, this is looking very, very good already. Again, the test between uh, the hydroponically grown super lemon haze and the organically grown super lemon haze with no fertilizer in soil. 
pretty amazing difference as you can see. The growth 86 to 122 centimeters in the last seven days for the hydroponics and 48 to 70 centimeters only in the last seven days for the soil. The internode on the hydroponic plant is now steady at 11 and the leaf steady at 23 centimeters long and 3.9 centimeters wide. Hello, we are here in day 21 of the flowering period with the super lemon haze. And every plant realizes now that it has to start producing flowers because of the photo period. We are going to show you the tricks of the greenhouse seed company, how to make sure you get the most yield possible. After 16 days of flowering, we have flushed the plant with 60 liters of water, 1.3 EC, and then we have dried out the plant for five days to make sure a lot of oxygen goes through the roots. Now, we're gonna feed the plant with 1.8 EC to make sure it completely explodes and produce a lot of flowers in this beautiful plant, Frank. Absolutely, the structure of the branching here on the hydroponic side especially is so that when the feeding is gonna hit, it's gonna just develop enormous flowers. And the size of the colors on the super lemon eyes we know is not bad at all. It's very long, very compact. What is interesting to know is the vertical growth of these two plants was the same in the last seven days. Both grew 20 centimeters vertically. The hydroponic plant went from 122 to 142 centimeters, while the one grown organically in soil with just water went from 70 to 90 centimeters. And you can really smell the difference already. This plant in hydro is already much whiter than the one in soil and she already has a proper proper smell. Yeah, as we know, this is the best plant in the world and you can see the crystals lying all over. And this is probably the only plant yeah, besides the white shark that produces so many crystals that early in his life. Absolutely. We will be back in day 28 of the flowering period with the super lemon haze. Hello, we are here in day 28 with the super lemon haze, world's most decorated plant. This is in the life of the plant one of the most important days because we are between week two and five and we're gonna flush for the second time to make sure we can have a lot of oxygen to the roots. And also this week we have a special announcement. Yes, we are very proud about it. Our lab is finally ready and thanks to it, we are now able to analyze over 60 different terpenes in the resin. Not only, we're gonna provide you week by week with detailed information about the cannabinoids, the five most important, from Delta the 8 to Delta 9 THC, to CBD, CBN, and CBG. Now the super lemonase is a sativa, so the activation of the process to form the Delta 9 is a little bit slower, takes a few weeks longer. Now, at the end of week four, we analyze the 2.35% Delta 9 THC. Hello, we are here in day 42, the beginning of week seven with the super lemon haze. And this plant we have dried out for three times. And the third time I'm gonna show you how light it is to give you an idea how dry we go. Now you can see this is very light, only seven to 10 kilos. And for a container of 65 liters, normally it will be between 40 and 60 kilos. Now it's very, very important for this particular plant to dry it out between week two and week six, because then the flowers start producing to the max. The finishing time of this plant is between eight and 10 weeks, depends on your room. So make sure you dry them out between two and six weeks to make sure the flowers produce to the maximum, Frank. Yes, and these flowers are already really covered in resin. It's amazing, the resin production for 42 days into flowering. And from the lab, a few tests, very interesting developments in the THC production, 7.88% for the hydro plant and 7.56% for the soil organically grown plant. Not so much difference there. And an incredibly high CBN content. This is in the entire collection of our cannabis plants, one of the highest CBN tested up to this moment. 1.76% CBN on the soil side and 1.62% CBN on the hydro side. Incredible medicinal value for this double cannabis cup winner. And from this plant, every week we're taking a lot of pictures and with our new technique, we're taking a lot of macro pictures so you can see the buildup of the crystals very beautifully. Have a look at them. See you back in day 49 with the Super Lemon Haze. Hello, we are here at day 49 with the super lemon haze and the buds are nearly finishing on this sativa plant. Eh? Yes. What a speed. What a speed. It went unbelievably fast in our uh, perfect hydroponic setup. This is an example of how you can pull one or two weeks down the flowering time of a sativa when you do things properly on the spot. And yes, we're going to be flushing in the next week for 
releasing all the last little bit of substances contained by the plant and just get the full, full flavor, the full lemon scent. What a fantastic plant. Super Lemon Haze, see you back at day 56. Hello, we're here at day 56, the beginning of week nine with world's most famous plant, the Super Lemon Haze from Greenhouse Seed Company. We are technically able to harvest this plant, but we're gonna go one week more to see how much crystals more we can build up. And what a crystal this plant has, eh, Frank? Amazing, the bouquet of the turpens is already fully developed. It's gonna be incredible in a week from today. And from the lab, a very exciting result on the CBN side. 1.68% CBN content after 56 days of flowering. That's amazing. That's because this strain is related to the Super Silver Rays and the Super Silver Rays transmits this high CBN content, which synergy with other cannabinoids creates this amazing effect. Yeah, just remember, some plants have a lower THC, but absolutely it does not mean that they are less strong. Because of the CBN content that's very, very high, it induces the THC in your body like amazing. So just remember, low THC doesn't mean that a plant is not strong. And one of the proofs is here the Super Lemon Haze. It has a lower THC, but it is one of the most potent plants in the world. And it's going for the triple. Hello, we are here at day 63, a full nine weeks with the most famous plant in the world, the Super Lemon Haze, Harvest Day. Now, as you have seen, with our greenhouse techniques, you can harvest this plant in nine weeks. If your room is not in such optimum condition, go one or two weeks longer. We're gonna explain you all about the manicuring process and then about the curing process. But what a fabulous plant, huh? Look the crystals on this plant. I have no right? words, the resin formation. Oh, man, it's incredible. The, the lemon scent is like... I think this is oh. the dream of every grower, no? Insane, this one. Double Insane. cannabis cup winner. Yeah, two years So in first row. you take off the big leaves, get some air in the plant. Then you slowly take off the small leaves. Now, as you see, this plant doesn't have too much leaves, so it's very easy to manicure. Very high calyx to leaf ratio. And also for the super lemonades, we implemented a strict flush regime in the last seven days. First with a light solution and then with just water to make sure there's no residue of fertilizer in the medium. Full flavor. And what a flavor that is. Mm. Even during the manicure, the whole melon smell comes out, eh? Yeah, yeah, you're touching the, the lemon birds. smell, the melon, the, every fruit is in there a little bit. And it's so hazy at the same time, very sativa. Now, if you have all time to manicure, you can use scissors. If you're a commercial grower, use your hands, you go much faster. And if you want to go really, really fast, you dry the whole plant first and then take the leaves off, you're twice as three times quicker. And we advise to not use machine trimming on this strain because of the structure of the bud, the calyxes are opening on all sides, shooting out from the cola, and it's not advisable to trim in machine. Greenhouse Seed Company, the world's most famous plant, Super Lemon Haze. The stems and leaves of the organically grown super lemon haze. 80 grams. The flowers of the organically grown super lemon haze. 225 grams. And then we move on to the hydroponics. Super lemon haze, stems and leaf, 160 grams. And the buds of this double champion. 650. World's most famous plants, the super lemon haze. Now the most important part comes, the drying and the curing. Dry it very slowly in a humid controlled room for two to three weeks. Then put it in paper bags under eight to 10 degrees Celsius and leave it there for three to five months. Make sure all the chlorophyll and other particles go out. It will have the best taste, a cannabis cup winning taste. The Greenhouse Seed Company with the super lemon haze.